fabulous day of scoring in the second round of the John Deere Classic, contributed to in large measure by Maverick McNeely. How about that one at 16? Signature hole on the golf course at a one on the card. McNeely shot 30 in his opening nine holes and 64 for the day. Sebastian Munoz was the 18-hole co-leader after opening with 63. This was his second from just inside 80 yards there at 13. Led to a birdie, got him to 10 under par. Then Munoz here at 16 to get to 11 under par. A player who won the Sanderson Farms Championship a couple seasons ago and bidding to move into the PGA Tour winner's circle for a second time. He is very much in the hunt. Birdie conversion there at 17, got Munoz to 12 under par. Kevin Na, sticky competitor, he's always hanging around, he's hard to shake, especially when he has to conjure up imagination and ingenuity like that one off the toe of the putter at the sixth, thank you very much. Kevin Na does that a lot, he got to 10 under par. Luke List has not won on the PGA Tour before, he was second at the Honda Classic a few seasons ago, got a lot of game, just hasn't put it all together for four days, but uh, he's done it for two days this week. That was at 18 from 137. That got him to 10 under par. And then this one at the first, his 10th hole of the day, moved Luke List to 11 under par. He was within a shot of the lead at that point. Sung J M, Mr. Consistency. Birdie attempt here at the eighth from about 25 feet. That got him to six under par and comfortably inside the cut line for the weekend at that moment. This was List at the second. Big fella put a hit on this one from 221 at the par five and it was honing in on the flag stick. I mean, just a fabulous shot. Didn't convert the eagle putt though, it slid by, but he made birdie there and got to 12 under and List grabbed a share of the lead. This was Honorben Lahiri at the 10th. He had just birdied the ninth and then at 10, making eagle there to get to minus one and was making a push for the weekend in the middle of his round there. Former Florida State Seminole, Chase Seifert at the second. Third hole, I mean, it was a really difficult hole, but Seifert gained some serious strokes on the field by holding that one to move to minus nine. 14's a really fun, cool little hole. It's drivable for the first couple of days that Scott Harrington drove it, then he did the rest, the back end of the equation there. An eagle moving Harrington to minus seven, and the scoring onslaught was on, and weren't many better than Luke List. Birdie at the seventh, his last of the day, got him to 13 under, and he grabbed the lead on his way to a 63 on Friday.